What is up guys, it's your boy Sixers here and welcome back to another video and this time I, well, it's the start of a new series and I'm going to call this Grab the Ox. Now, I just love my neighbors. The main reasoning behind this series is I was I was like having a conversation with one of my favorite artists for slash producers from SoundCloud on Twitter the one time. I had this I like the idea for the series and I passed it by him and he was like, Yeah, sure, dope. It sounds pretty cool. And what I'm basically gonna do is I'm not sure if it's gonna be like on a bi-weekly basis or like say once a month type thing. I'm just gonna like compile a list of my favorite songs that I'm listening to at the time and also a couple of like old favorites. Mostly from SoundCloud though. The reason being is that as a fan of this music, of like this genre of music, I'm gonna like help these like help these guys get some form of exposure, you know? Plus it also gives me like a new type of content to do for you guys on this channel. And I did say that I was going to be doing new things. This is one of the new things. All right, so um, unfortunately for copyright reasons, I am not going to be playing any of the music. Why lying for? Like within the video, but should should I have like some permission or stumble across like music that happens to not be copyrighted, then I will play it. But apart from that, you'll just have to well trust that I have to taste the music. First up is something a bit more mainstream, you could say, compared to everything else in this list, and that's um, Run The Jewels. Now these guys dropped their first album in like 2013, I think it was 2014, I don't know. I discovered them like mid last year, and I've been like instant fans ever since. But they've got a brand new album, it's called RTJ3, and they released it for free, right? Because like this is what they do with the music, like first off, like the first few weeks or months or so, they release the music for free and then later on you can get like physical copies or something like that if you want to. I'm gonna leave a link to get a download for this in the description along with all the other music, well like songs and albums, EPs that I mentioned in this video series. So number one we have Run The Jewels with RTJ3. Second up is Tokyo Vice with Odeo's Getaway. Now this kind of music is strictly instrumental there's no music there's no lyrics on any of these beats it's just it's, a, it's basically like a beat tape but the way that these guys make the music it's more of like an instrumental song than it is just beats Tokyo at least in my opinion and that's why i love it so much so yeah odeo's getaway i'm gonna leave a link to his band camp down below and it just happens to be free so if you like the music like if you you can stream it also on bandcamp so if you like it you can just you know download and if you want to you feel like you should be paying or want to support the guy then you have that option as well up next after tokyo vice is the homie steezy prime why did i say the homie like i've never spoken to this guy before but anyways, um, Steezy Prime and his two, well, I got two tracks from Steezy Prime for you guys and he released them recently, actually, so you get to have something that's a lot more up to date. And for this we have Raindrop, which is basically like a remix to, uh, Bad and Bougie by Migos. We came from missing the fucking nigga. I don't turn nobody good to trick nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get you. Call me your river, get you with your shit. Bad and Bougie, bad. Cooking up the wood of Uzi. And then the other track is Baths. It's a weird title with another SoundCloud producer who goes by the name of Ozone. Second after that is Nevermore. It's another instrumental song called Suddenly Felt Like Heaven. It's a weird title, but trust me, it's some dope. It's like it's some really chill music. Next we got the homie Anubis. And I always mess this up because the last part of his name is in Roman numerals and I suck at Roman numerals, but it's Anubis 12 XII. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too sure. Black Oak Out. Now I had a conversation with this guy on Twitter about the song and apparently he worked on this for 85 hours. And in my opinion, I'd say it paid off because it's it's a really solid production. Like before this, I had like my own personal favorite song by him. I'll also leave a link to that in the description. The song is called Sierra Leone. To me, I never thought that anything that he put out could top Sierra Leone. This topped it. The name of the track, by the way, is Black Opal. 
link in the description. Next up we got Ozone with um, what I consider a classic because it's been out for a while and I only discovered it when I jumped on the train. It's called Evergreen and he did this, well he produced this with Steezy Prime which I mentioned like just now. I highly recommend you check it out. Plus the nice thing is that Ozone basically like puts out his music for free so you know you can just download it straight off SoundCloud. Second last on this list is the homie Breeze. Now, Grease is the guy that I was talking to who, like, basically okayed this idea and, you know, like, gave me the motivation to go through with this. You know, and I just had to shout him out because, you know, without, I read without him saying, yeah, go for it, I probably wouldn't be doing this series right now. And it's a track off of, off of his upcoming EP. It's titled Aroma. It's a really dope track. These, <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave it there. It's a dope track. Links in the description. Check it out. And then, you can say like an all-time favorite, a bonus track, essentially, and it's by Careful. Spelled Careful with a K, really. This guy's from London. To me, he's one of like the very first producers who like started this wave genre of music on SoundCloud, which is like a birth child of electro music mixed with like trap and all those other things. But it's a really chilled, kind of sort of slow-ish tempo of music. I generally love listening to it and I use it in a lot of my showcase videos. If you guys are wondering what kind of music I am using in showcase, here's the music right here. And this track is Remember This event. We released it like a couple years back. It's a classic for me. It's a classic for just about any careful fan out there. You know what, just for the bats, I'll play it in the um, outro. I hope you guys enjoyed that guys. I know it's, it's really rusty. It's the first video in the series, but if you guys like this and would like me to continue, let me know in the comments. Tit for tat, if you have some music that you'd like me to listen to, that you'd like, possibly like featured in the next video in the series, leave something in the comments and I'll listen. I mean, I love music. I start and finish my day with music, so I'm most probably going to be listening to whatever you put in the comment section. Alright, so um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this a like if you did, share it with a friend or two, you know, just spread, yo guys, spread the music. All the music that I've mentioned in this list right now is all free. And I mean legally, like these guys put this music out for free, it's not like pirating or anything. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good weekend. Stay fly.